crowds, cameramen and the guard of honour greeted Lord and Lady Mountbatten when they arrived at Electra House, London, the cable and wireless headquarters. Object of the visit was to inaugurate the phototelegraph service between London and Malta, a new link with the George Cross Island. The picture, taken a few minutes before, is the first to be transmitted, and Lord Mountbatten himself starts the machine which flashes it across to the Mediterranean. A message of goodwill was also sent to Malta's governor, who later sent back a reply. Addressing members of the staff, their chairman, Sir Edward Wilshaw, got a big laugh with his speech of introduction. I overheard a lady present here today, as uh, Lord Louis passed by, say, he's got everything. <laughs> That sums up exactly what I would like to say, and it lets me out. After the applause died down, the guest of honour proceeded to get a few laughs for himself. Sir Edward Wilshaw, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll ask Edward Wilshaw privately to introduce me to the lady who thinks I've got everything after me. <laughs> uh, I'm particularly glad to have a chance to come here today because it gives me an opportunity of thanking the men from the telecom units who came out to Southeast Asia for the great work that they did. I hope to meet them afterwards. And to tell their comrades what a very fine job they did under very lousy conditions. In case you think that I've been standing up here and shooting a bit of a line about what the, the men did in Southeast Asia, I'd like to end up by giving you a piece of evidence which I'm sure you will believe because it comes from no less a person than from General Kimura who commanded the Japanese armies in Burma. About the third week of August, just after the surrender, General Kimura sent me a telegram. The telegram was a very polite telegram. No idea how polite the Japanese have become. <laughs> and it said, I beg to inform your excellency, you see I'm an excellency. <laughs> he said, I beg to inform your excellency that I this day passed the order to cease fire for all the armies in Burma, except for certain units. And paragraph two went on, and the last thing I'm going to say is the thing I hope you remember, because it makes me feel good, and I hope it makes you feel good. Paragraph two. If your excellency will kindly indicate to me where the various outlying parts of my army are, I'll try and tell the news. <laughs> <laughs> 